Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, uh, we managed to install the Skyrim script extender. Uh, we did 7-zip, uh, Champolian, uh, DDS optimizer, um, and that was it. So yeah, we're in the process of installing a lot of tools. Now you might be wondering, well, geez, we've been doing, we're what, in video three now, and we haven't yet actually managed to run the game. We're getting there, guys. Really, right here is where we're going to start running the game. So we're, we're getting close. Um, right now we're still installing tools that we're going to need for the future stuff. So let's talk about the ENB Manager. Let's go ahead and install the ENB Manager. Let's just go ahead and grab it. We'll go to Download Tools. Um, so let's see. He wants us to install version 1.0.2. So let's look for that. 1.0.2. There it is right here. So let's go ahead and download that save it and we'll open that up actually we can just pop it open okay there it is okay guys so um there you go let's go ahead and i'll tell you what let's go to downloads we'll hit uh extract okay and just like normal we'll go to our F drive and in the F drive I'm going to create a new folder called um, ENB manager okay and we'll go ahead and extract there and all this is is a is a jar file okay so yeah we'll just leave it at that uh, I could run it uh, but again I'm, I'm kind of uh, loath to run the tools just yet um, but we'll, we'll Get back to that. Okay, let's run Loot. Loot is a, it's basically a, make sure that your, your mods are loaded in the proper order so that they, they have the least amount of conflict with each other. So let's go ahead and download that. Loot, let's see, which one does he say? Loot 0 0.8.1, so there it is. Uh, go ahead and get the installer. Save that file. So you can see I've actually downloaded this before. Yes, please. So we'll go English um, next. So let's not put it there. It's not where I want it. Let's go F drive. We'll F loot. Yeah, that's fine. Next. Um, sure, and create a desktop icon. Let's let that install. And I don't want to want to do any of those things, so let's go ahead and close that. All right, let's close all this stuff out. We don't need all this anymore. Let's see, somewhere should be loot. There it is. Let's Keep our tools kind of down in the same place as much as we can. Okay, so we got loot. Very nice. Yeah, we're getting close to... We got a few more tools to put in. Um, these are all important, gang. I mean, uh, you know, I know it's a lot of installing of stuff, and, and we have no idea if it's working yet or not, but all this stuff is necessary. Um, let's grab the merge plugin standalone. So we won't... 20237 public beta. 20237 beta. That's the one right there. So let's go ahead and save that. And we'll grab that, open it, and extract it. Here, I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. Extract all. And as usual, we'll go to our F drive. Um, make a new folder. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Bad. F drive. Make a new folder. Thank you. Okay, we want this... What are we calling this? Um, merge plugins. Merge plugins. Okay. Merge plugins. Merge plugins, we'll call it that. 
Click OK, and extract. And there you go. We've got some Fallout stuff. We've got some Skyrim stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Here comes Mod Organizer. This is a big one. This is one we're going to use all the time. Okay. In fact, this is going to be how we actually run Skyrim. So let's pop into Mod Organizer, and we'll download manually. It should be version 1.31, I'm pretty sure. 1.3.11 installer. Uh, there we go, the installer. Save that. This takes a minute. Okay, and done. So let's go ahead and grab the installer and run that. Mod Organizer 1.3.11 setup. Uh, we've got the the agreement. Uh, so hit agree on that. We will install all the components. Um, we'll leave these up. We'll just leave it default. Um, we do want it to handle the Nexus links, but I'll do that manually. Um, that's easy enough to change. So just hit next. We do not want it there. Okay. So we're going to the F drive. Make a new folder. And call this. Mod organizer, organizer, and hit OK. That's good. And hit install. So we'll give this a minute. This takes a, a second to set up to finish. Oh, we just told it to run. Uh, okay, whatever. That's fine. Here, let's just close that out. Um, it's not going to work yet because actually I haven't run Skyrim, so the, the registry files are not there yet, so uh, it's not going to be able to find the game. Okay, let's go ahead and close all this stuff. We're getting close, guys. We got the mod organizer. That's the big one. Okay, uh, next up is TS5 Edit, version 3.1.2 for the build number. Let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, it's linking us to the forum page for some reason or another. Um, let's see if we can find it. This is not what we seem to want here. So, here's the deal, guys. Uh, this link is not really taking me to where a useful place. It's taking me to the forum, which is taking me to the Fallout 4 Nexus page, um, which we might be able to get from there. Um, what I'm going to do is go to Nexus Mods, and if you need a way to get there, you can just click on Mod Organizer. It'll take you here. This is where we're at. I'm just going to go into the search, and I'm going to look for TES 5 Edit. There it is. Um, I'm not quite sure why this page isn't taking us here, um, but okay, that's all right. So we're going to go to, what do we want? We want 312 build 091115. 312, um, that seems like it might be it. So let's go ahead and save that. And that's a 7-zip. So let's go to it and extract here. Okay, so then that's TES5 edit. I don't see it. Why don't I see it? Downloads TES5 Edit. Oh, it doesn't extract into a folder. That seems weird. Okay, tell you what. Let's pop this open with 7-zip. Uh, 
let's go extract it manually into the F drive. Here we go. And we'll make a new folder in the F drive. We'll say TES5 edit. Say OK. OK. There we go. That's what we want. So we should be, we should have TES5 edit. There you go. That's what we wanted. I'm going to go ahead and make a shortcut to that. And we can pull this out here. And I'm just going to take off all this other stuff. Just call it TES5 edit. There you go. Just like that. Okay, guys, we're getting there. How are we doing? Hoping to finish up the tools today. Which we should do, because we've only got wire bash left to do. Okay, let's take, let's grab wire bash. Yeah, this takes us right to Nexus Mods. Download. Uh, let's see what version does he want us to get. 306 standalone. So 306 standalone executable. That's what we're looking for. Save that. We'll let that download. All right. Let's go ahead and open that up. That's another. Um, another 7-zip, so let's open that up. Yeah, okay, good. Um, let's go ahead and extract this, and we'll go with the same thing. This is going to be wire bash, so F drive, new folder. Uh, wire bash. We're on the F drive, right? Okay. F and go. Did we extract? That seems like it went awful fast. No, it did not. Okay, I don't want you to extract apps. I don't want you to extract the entire thing. <laughs> There we go. That's what we want. Very nice. Okay, so we got wire bash. We got TES5 edits in here. We got um, mod organizer should be in here. That's all good. We got loot. That should be in here. That looks good. Um, the ENB manager. That's just a jar file. That's a... Um, that should run. Hopefully, unless Windows gets all in my face. Um, DDS opt, that's that one. And this Champoleon, I don't know how you say that, um, the decompiler. So there you go, guys, we're good. I think with that, we now have all of the tools that we're going to need to do our Skyrim modifications. Now, I know that was a long process. It took us several videos just to get through the tools. We haven't really even run anything yet. Um, but we should be all set up to, to have everything that we need in the future to make sure we got a, a nice playable version of Skyrim. So uh, we should be in good shape. All right, guys. Um, in the next video, we will start to configure Skyrim. We'll configure some of the, the tools that we're going to use. Um, we should be able to go through this section fairly quickly, uh, at least until we get to the cleaning part. That takes a little bit. Um, but for now, that's the end of section 2.3. We've completed that, and we'll start off with section 3 next time. So um, I will see you guys then. Thanks a lot.